Oop. Look how pretty this is. I don't even know what kind of plant this is, but I know that it's a mustard. And the reason I know that it's a mustard is because mustards are in the brassica family, which is nearly 2,000 different plants, and it includes broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and all mustards smell like mustard. So sometimes we rely too heavily on our eyes, and we can just be like, oh, I don't really know what this is. I, I don't know what it looks like. But then you come over here, you grab a leaf, you crush it up. And if it's a mustard, it should start smelling like mustard. So I invite you to come over here and start and do this with me. This one's pretty faint. There's other characteristics, but the leaves on this are pretty faint smelling. Can anybody get a little hint of mustard? Look at how big this leaf is. Does anybody, so did we get a little hint of mustard? If not, there's another mustard over here that you'll definitely smell it. Look how big this leaf is. You can literally wrap, make little wraps in this. Uh, one thing I like to do, I call it gorilla wraps. Ooh, ooh. No, just kidding. Um, you take a banana and you wrap it in a green leaf. It could be a collard leaf, it could be a kale leaf, it could be a wild mustard leaf. And what you'll find is that the greens will complement the fruit and the fruit will complement the greens. Uh, you could also make a nice dolma out of this. You could um, opt, you know, if you say you like low calorie diets, here's a perfect little tortilla. Also it has these beautiful flowers. All mustards have four petals. They can be different colors, yellow, white, purple, pink. And come over here and grab, grab one of these. All mustards also have six stamens. Stamen are those tiny little antennae that are in the flower. So they have four petals, six stamen, Four of those are gonna be long and two will be short. And then this one in particular has its own version of the seed pod, which is kind of like a little pea almost. And you can eat those too. They kind of have a spicy peppery taste. So if, if I was picking this plant for food, I'd be like, look, big leaves. I'm gonna do something with those. Maybe I'll cut them into a salad, but since they're big, I'd probably make a wrap out of this. This I'd probably throw on top of the salad because they're nice peppery. They would enrich it, make it look beautiful. And then the seed pods would just add a little bit of crunch. They'd be like a wild uh, sweet pea. John Kalis, who has a book called Wild Edibles from Dirt to Plate, he says that wild mustards through his research are the most nutritious green on the planet. And so it's a really good one to know about. Now let's go this way because I want to find, I want to actually demonstrate how different two mustards can look and yet they still smell like mustard. Check out this plant. If you touch it, it starts shooting seeds. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. I know. I thought they were mad at me when I Come on, you guys. This is a bittercress, which is a mustard, yeah. One of the things I've been criticized for in my book is that I don't have regions for where the plants grow. And the reason I did that is because plants, just like humans and animals, they love to travel. And they have different mechanisms for doing this. Hello. <laughs> this plant, it propagates, when you touch it, it literally shoots out feet away. That's the plant saying, I'm gonna pr produce a lot of offspring. <laughs> Maybe let's go over there so the dog settles down. So plants love to travel and um, in the natural world, they get pretty far. And I think the regional thing, that, that's just something we humans have made up for convenience, um, but nature isn't here for our convenience. Let's take one of this and we're gonna crush it up and see if it smells like mustard. Yep, smells like mustard. Do you get it? Who gets mustard? Raise your hand if you get mustard. You get like a musty smell. Yeah. But it's a very distinct, like so, not like the yellow mustard that comes in a can, but like arugula mustard, think that. You get it? So this is called bittercress, and it's a mustard relative. 